Mother... Things were going way too well. Nobody was here. This is the end of the road. The end of the area you're legally allowed to drive. So we stopped, parked our razor. We're just getting finished covering it up. And a truck pulls out of the canyon on the trail. It's supposed to be a trail. You're not supposed to drive on it. The good thing is nobody's here now, be right. as far as we know. We'll see, there's probably a pile of trucks up here. Oh yeah, we've got four days worth of food, but we plan on coming out tomorrow with meat. Yeah. So let's do that. Fuck. Mother <sighs> There's at least three fucking trucks and a fucking tent. Listen, the road ends right there, pissing me off. And you can see this from the main road. We scouted this out when we left. Nobody was here. We couldn't see anybody where you can legally drive and park. And rolling in, same damn thing, or we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't have got all our shit together on our backs. We're not gonna come in where there's been four motherfuckers up a three mile drainage. Four trucks, at least four mother. There's more people here than there were at that other area, and that was, that's twice the size of this area. It's one thing if they park right here, cool. We'll just go somewhere else. But it pisses me off because it wastes a bunch of time for us. Best laid plans, folks. Best laid plans. I don't mind. Granted, yes, we'd all love to have a canyon to ourselves. I don't mind that there are people here. I wish they were doing it the right way. That's it. I just wish they were doing it the right way. Waste of time. <sighs> keeps trying to blow close. Oh, keeps blowing closed on me. There ain't no try about it. Gotta get the keys. Can't control what other people do. Frustrating, but we're gonna go kill an elk tonight somewhere. So this would be plan B. Uh, there's a side-by-side -side with bow cases in the back. Way different feeling. Good on you. You're here. Like, cool, okay. you're doing it legally. We'll move along. Yeah, this is a trail you're not supposed to be on, but people are up there. We'll keep driving. Just a good time to practice some bugles. Like if it wasn't gonna ro roll, I would have seen it right away. Don't bump my 
some trees. Okay. Alright, it's a fucking zoo. We're cruising on the side by side. I saw a color on the hill. I slowed down. And I was like, it can't, there shouldn't be an elk here, but that has to be an elk. There's a herd of elk like 500 yards up this hill, right off of one of the main roads. They're feeding this way, we've got good wind. We're just gonna dump our packs behind some trees up here and then get up there. We've got like 30 or 45 minutes of shooting night left. We're doing this because our packs are packed for like four days. Way too heavy to get up there fast. We're gonna sneak up in these trees. They're in the wide open. They're heading to uh, where there's a few trees to provide us some cover. The wind's coming down. They're feeding this way. We're gonna try and get in front of them and ambush them. Just over this little rise, kind of, there's a dip, and they're up on the other side, but a little too low to see from here. It's just a tough situation. There's no way for us to get over to them, and a slim chance of calling them over here in this open country, but it's the only chance we have, because they're, they're not really moving. They're feeding in the same spot they were when we saw them. Anyways, ma'am, that was crazy, wasn't it? That was intense. So, did you get any footage of them, or was it too much of a clusterfuck? I never saw them. Oh, really? Never. Yeah, I'm sorry. It was wild, guys, I don't know. And we're just cruising, right? We're going to a spot just a half a mile up here. And I'm scanning hills like I always do, and I saw a color. Sure enough, it's a bowl, and there's like five to seven cows right there with them. About as soon as I picked them up, we hear a car coming behind us. Well, they pulled past us, looked at us, and then pulled over right in front of us. And I, I know they were looking up the hill. So then we made it really obvious that like we were gonna make a play. Really obvious. And finally they left, and then it was game on. I did see three of the cows from the top, but they were like 200 yards away and it was getting dark. So, you know, went for the Hail Mary. See if you can get the stupidest bull in the world to trot across open country to a bugle, which obviously didn't work. Didn't expect it to, but you gotta try sometimes. So we're not saving elk for tomorrow. We're not saving them for the afternoon or the evening or anything. When we find elk, we're gonna go try and kill one. Listen, this was spot, this wasn't even a spot, but we were headed to spot number five or six, I think. People everywhere, people in every spot, and a lot of places in between. And wouldn't you know, we see them 500 yards off the main line here. But that's why we were coming over here, because this is an overlooked section. We thought, well, if there's pressure in all these other places, this could be a good pocket. They just happened to be a little too obvious. It was fun. It was a lot of work getting up there. We were hurting. But we got up there without spooking them. We got there in time. I thought they were feeding this way, and they weren't. If they were, we would have been in good shape. That's that. We'll, uh, we'll get on some more elk tomorrow. Kill one of those.